The second major reason boxers fail is their approach to training itself. Most think more rounds equals better results. But it's not about how much you train, it's about how you train. There are two critical mistakes I see constantly. First, boxers jump into a training volume they can't handle. They're doing 10 rounds of sparring in their first month. That's not training, that's just surviving. You don't improve by struggling pointlessly. Second, they repeat the same drills at the exact same intensity forever. Staying comfortable means staying mediocre. What works instead is training at the edge of your capability. I use a simple percentage system. Start at 70% of your maximum speed and power. Once you can execute perfectly 10 times in a row, bump it up 5%. Small increases based on your actual skills. Quick reality check. If you can't perform a technique slowly with perfect form, you have no business speeding it up. And if you've been doing the same drills at the same intensity for more than a month, you're not progressing. You're just repeating. This structured approach creates the foundation for actual improvement as a fighter.